After getting home from work, I scarf down dinner, pack my gear, and kiss the wife goodbye. Now, I'm stealing away to Colorado for a weekend with my other love, Big Muley Bucks. Over the years, I've become so smitten with them. Maybe it's those big old ears that earned them the name, or how striking and barrel-bodied a mature buck can be. There's that Pepe Le Pew style of stodding that makes their gait so unique. And of course, that their unbelievably keen senses and awareness make them such a worthy foe. Put all those together in a place this beautiful, and who wouldn't fall in love? It's been a long week at work, and a tiring evening of travel, so I'm hitting the hay early tonight. The plan is to be up before the sun, so that I can scout a brand new spot that I've heard tell about where the water is still, and Muley's prance carefree. It's still pretty much the middle of the night, but I've never been to this spot before, and I want to make sure I'm set up before dawn. Because I understand there are a lot of big Muley's that hang out there and I've never seen it I don't know much about the area so I want to scout it every minute of the day that I can uh, just so I can see where the deer come in from where they go off to as they pass through uh, and maybe that'll help us find a couple of other spots as well well the sun is just coming up oh, I'm hearing turkeys call But, uh, we're almost at the blind. Hopefully, we'll get to, uh, see some muleys. Oh my goodness. Look at all the muleys in this. It's a, it looks like a piebald one. Man, there's so many. I have never hunted this area. But I'd heard about it, and it looks like it was all true. You know, this is supposed to be my scouting day. And usually that can be grueling, but this, this is going well so far. I watch this group for a good while and make note of which direction they head when they start moving. My intention is to be in this same position before this time tomorrow. Well, the weather's been beautiful so far. But, wouldn't be a mountain hunting trip without a little bit of rain. Since I was up so early, this rain shower makes it easy to decide that it's mid-morning nap time anyway. I curl up for a couple hours rest before going out to scout again in the afternoon.
Now that is a nice buck. We're going to come back and visit him tomorrow as well. He is handsome. Oh. Oh. Where are you headed? Going to your bedding area by the looks of it. The deer seem to be hiding now, although I have a wealth of places that look full of promise for tomorrow. Another early bedtime won't hurt, and I'll be fresh for the hunt after breakfast. So this is it, shooting day number one. And first things first, I'm gonna head to that spot where we saw that piebald muley and see if we can uh, watch what happens as the sun comes up and before they get moving, we're gonna try to make them ours. So I'm out just before first light and my hope was to get to this hunting stand. Uh, before the muleys get to their spot, this is where we saw that uh, piebald yesterday, and that was going to be our first stop today. As I get there, you can see, well, maybe you can see the silhouette. I'll use the night vision scope. There are muley bucks right at the stand, and I can't get to it without spooking them. So I'm going to have to rethink this strategy altogether. I don't know if it's the same group but there are definitely deer there already. So I'm probably gonna loop around here and we'll see what we see. So we've got some shooting light as I started to move. So I switched to my regular scope and now these guys are on the move. I might've just blown this. Oh my God, they're right there. I think they might have winded me. Meh. That got him. That got him. Oh, my goodness. Though I'm sort of rushed in this situation, I definitely make sure not to pull the trigger until I can get him to pause long enough for an ethical shot. We did it, we did it. There he is. There he is. Look at that, that is so cool. And fall in a great situation, but. And he's not huge, but look at how cool that is. That is a great first shooter. I'll take that for sure. What a cool looking buck. Good clean double lung. Really nice start. Really nice start to this trip. shot and she stops there we go wow. He's down, he's down. 
Just in those trees. Oh, he piled up good right over here. Look at that. What a nice buck. I'll get a picture of that. What a nice buck. That is a nice muley. Oh. oh, there we go. Got one resting. Get some cover and see if we can get closer. Yeah, he doesn't have any idea we're here. About 150 meters. It's a tough shot. I kind of want him to stand up. And go broadside. Might be able to get into one of his lungs from here. Should have done it. I lost him. Gotta be somewhere behind those trees. I didn't see him go down though. Well, it looks like the shot was good. This is, this is where we hit him. That's a lot of blood. That's a lot of blood. He ran off kind of behind these trees. Some more matted down grass. More blood. There he is. There he is. Well, he's not huge, but he's not horrible. A little three by three. Got, it, got him in the lung there, you can see. A little high, that was, uh, was close to missing. <laughs> you're a bit small, you're gonna wind me, aren't you? But you're not why I'm here. You're a little small too. I'm here for that guy that's bedded down right over there. But it's a terrible shot. It's a lot of stuff to punch through. You just get him interested. Get him to stand up even. Come on buddy, stand up. I wonder if I could weasel a shot right through those branches into his lungs. I think that I can. How far is that? Under 150. Though shrouded by twigs, he's bedded and relatively close, since I can see the deer's back and shoulder. I decide taking a shot is okay. I did not see him move. I think he dropped right there. Right where he was laying. Wait a minute. Who are you? That, 
Is that... Maybe we could take another for good measure, I guess. Alright, this has got to be the first guy that was bedded down. And I did drop him right where he was laying. Very nice. Very nice. And then this other one, I don't know where he came from. I hadn't even seen him before, unless he was the one that was back there. He got a little curious. He's definitely not as big, but... Still a nice buck. With the reward of fire-grilled venison to fill my belly, I do a little writing in my hunting journal, then turn in. I've got one more day to hunt, which is really just a bonus, as the trip has already been fantastic. I knew you'd be back. Just behind that tree. to get a better look at that guy. Come on, step out. He's, he knows something's up. He is nervous. coming right for us <laughs> right you don't get much of a better opportunity than this oh let's turn broadside buddy give me a quick look Got him. Why aren't you a handsome devil? Not nearly as big as I thought you might be when you were in the bushes, but... of that guy. Either my eyes are deceiving me or he's massive. He looks huge. I've got to get over there. Right, they're bedded. So they should be there a little while still. Wow, look at the size of him. Well, here goes nothing. Not gonna chance it. I'm gonna go around. As I'm making my way around, I notice that as big and beautiful as he is, he's not the only one. There are a few of them that are massive over here. What is in this water? In <laughs> this pond? Oh my god. Look at this. There's a couple of other massive muleys over here. Either side of this hunting stand, there's a couple of big ones. Ah, uh, I can't see them. That's I can't take that shot. 
All right, I'm just gonna move a little bit further up. See if I can get a better angle. You can just see the body. That is a shot that I can take, I think. What? He's hit, but I didn't see him pile up. Man, we've got Mule Deer coming back in. Look at this guy. He's another big one. There we go. Those are already coming back in. So is this guy. And it is not easy to find him in this stuff. All right, well, this is the last guy we got. Double lung, but he's just blonde. He's pretty. He's pretty. He's pretty. That's all there is to it. All right. This is the third one that we hit. That's a nice gold. Single lung we got him. Very nice. Very nice. Ooh, that's another nice gold. Double lung. Very clean. Very, very clean. Happy with that. And the first one we hit down here, sort of kind of near the stand. That's the one I could just see his body. His head was down. But I didn't see him emerge, so I'm thinking it was a pretty good shot. But I don't see him. Oh, wait. What's this? This is him. Here he is. Oh wow. I think he dropped like a rock right where he stood. Let's get all this brush out of the way. Oh wow, look at you. That is a beautiful, beautiful buck. Wow. Look at you. Wow, that was from 236 meters and both lungs in the heart. What a beautiful buck. My memories of this trip will never leave me nor will my affection for these unique cervids. A mule deer hunt is magic to me every time, and I don't think I'll ever stop enjoying the fact that, even when it doesn't fill my freezer, the experience always fulfills my needs.